For the next couple of problems, we're going to use the exact same approach because we still have rational equations. So we're still going to do multiply both sides by the LCD, and solve the resulting equation, check your answer. The only difference here is that the LCD is a bit harder to find because we have um, denominators that need to be factored first. So let's go ahead. 3 times x minus 4, and then the other two are all set. Now, the first thing I want to do is look and see what values of x will not be allowed as solution. All right, so looking at what makes the denominator go to 0, if I put in a 4 here, 4 minus 4 is 0. So x cannot be 4. Same over here. x cannot be 4, and 3 doesn't matter. All right, so if we get x is 4 as our answer, we're not going to allow, allow it to be our answer. So next step is build the LCD. Now, building the LCD is exactly the same as we did in the last, um, the last module, so adding and subtracting rational expressions. Take the entire first denominator, 3 times x minus 4, and then we look at the second denominator. If it's already contained there, we're not going to put it in. Same with this guy. 3 already contained. We don't include it. So we're done. The LCD is 3 times x minus 4. Now we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. I'm going to rewrite the equation and leave the denominators in factored form, because that's going to make it a lot easier for me to see what cancels. So now both sides multiply by 3 times x minus 4, 3 times x minus 4. So let's distribute that. Every term gets the LCD. Now, if you can see what cancels just by looking at it and not putting this extra step here of writing out the distribution, that's OK. Just be really careful, because that is the most common place to make a mistake, is to go ahead and cancel right here, and then think that there's nothing left for this guy, and that this guy is just 1 over x minus 4. So if you're at all uncertain about what I just said, then you should write out the next step, which is distribute the LCD to every separate term. So we get 3 times x take away 4 times 18 over 3 times x take away 4, plus, and now the next one gets it, 3 times x take away 4 times 1 over x minus 4 equals, and the next one gets it, 3 times x minus 4 times 7 over 3. All right, now it's pretty clear to see what cancels, and we're not going to end up losing the LCD because we canceled it with just one of the terms. So here, the 3x minus 4 both cancel. Here, the x minus 4s cancel. And here, the 3s cancel. So we're left with 18 plus just a 3 equals 7 times x minus 4. So 18 plus 3 is 21. We can rewrite that as 21 equals 7 times x take away 4. Now here we can go a couple of directions. We want to solve the resulting equation. Um, technically, what we usually do for the next step would be distribute to clear parentheses. But if you're OK and you see that we could just divide both sides by 7 right here and get a 3 on the left, go ahead and do that. It's a shortcut, and you'll get 3 equals x minus 4. Solve it from there. If what I just said doesn't really make sense, or you're not too sure, keep following the normal procedure. So now we would clear parentheses, 21 equals 7x minus 28. And then we're going to isolate the x, so we add 28 to both sides. And that gives us 49 equals 7x. Divide both sides by 7. And we have x equals 7. And that is an allowed value, because the unallowed value was x, equal, um, x was 4. x cannot equal 4, because that makes the denominators go to 0. So it's a good idea to check the x equals 7 in the original equation, make sure it gives a true statement. But I am going to fit in another problem instead. So let's see, number 15. All right, 15 is a lot longer, so I'm going to have to pan out a bit. All right, 
we'll see how that works. Now we're going to have to factor again for the denominator so we can find our LCD. So factoring gives us x plus 2, x minus 2 for difference of squares here. And everything else is all set. So now we can build the LCD. Take the entire first denominator, x minus 2. Multiply in anything missing from the second one. So we need an x plus 2 here. And that's being multiplied even though I'm writing it underneath. And the third one's already contained. So we're all set. So the LCD is x minus 2 times x plus 2. Now we're going to multiply both sides of our equation by the LCD. 7x plus 3 over x minus 2 equals 68 over, keep it in factored form, x plus 2x minus 2 plus 7x take away 3 over x plus 2. Multiply both sides by the LCD of x plus 2, x minus 2. All right, now we're going to multiply that in to each term. Now, I'm not going to be able to write that whole thing out showing the distribute step because it's going to go way beyond my page edges. So we're going to do the shortcut approach, which is look to see what cancels. But don't really cancel it out here because you, we might forget that it goes into the other terms if we cancel it out. So just looking at it, the first fraction here, x minus 2 and x minus 2 cancel. We're left with x plus 2. So the one we're left with, we write it down, and it multiplies the numerator, 7x plus 3 equals, on the 68 over x plus 2, x minus 2, well, x plus 2 and x minus 2 both cancel out. They're gone. So we're left with a 68, and then the next one, x plus 2 and x plus 2 both cancel out. So we write down the leftover one. x minus 2 did not cancel out, and the numerator also did not cancel out. 7x take away 3. So that's what we're left with there. And now we have a large linear equation that we're going to solve. So first, let's clear parentheses. 7x squared plus 3x plus 2x 7x squared plus 3x plus 14x here, not 2, plus 6 equals 68 plus, again, FOIL it out, 7x squared minus 3x minus 14, keep wanting to do plus, minus 14x, and then plus 6. All right, so that's all. Foiled out, we cleared parentheses, and now we're going to combine like terms. Well, let's see, we don't have another x squared term on the left, so we just have 7x squared. 3x and 14x is 17x. Bring down the plus 6 equals uh, x squared term. Let's start with that. There isn't another one. And then the x terms, we get minus 17x. And then we get 68 plus 6. And that's plus 74. All right, now we start moving terms around. So we want to get x's left, numbers right. So let's take away 7x squared on both sides. And nicely enough, they cancel out. And now we want to add 17x over here so that we get the x's away from the right side. And we add it to the like term on the left. Balancing out the equation, we get 34x. Just bring down the plus 6 equals 74. And subtracting 6 from both sides, we get 34x equals 68. And I'm almost out of time, so I've got to go quick, because I've got a 10-minute limit here. 34, divide both sides. We get x equals 2. But in the original equation, x cannot equal 2, because it makes the denominator go to 0. So. We don't allow that for an answer, we get no solution.